We're going to make a gallery print from this picture of a Paris street on a Saturday morning. Um, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate the background. And I'm going to do that by hitting Command J, and that will make a duplicate of the background. Command J. I'm going to click back on the background, and I'm going to add canvas. And the way I would do that is I'll go to Image, Canvas Size. Make sure that the canvas extension color is white, although I could choose another color if I liked. Make sure that the box is checked relative, and I'm going to add an inch to both the width and the height. I click OK. Now it's added that. I want to add another three quarters of an inch to the bottom because I want it to have that slightly uh, off-center look from the top to the bottom. So image canvas size, but this time I'm going to click this. So this means that if I click on top, that the top will stay the same. And if I add three quarters of an inch, 0.75, it'll only add it to the bottom. Make sure relative is checked. Make sure I still have white checked. Click OK, and it adds it to the bottom. I'm going up to layer one, and I'm going to command click right on the thumbnail of layer one, which will select it, make it a selection. And then I'm going to add a new layer. So that selection's actually, whoops, put the layer on top of it. There we go. Um, and now uh, with that selected, I'm going to transform this selection. I'm going to go to Select, Transform Selection. And I now have handles on the selection. See the handles? I could widen it. I could drag it up. I could go to the corner. If I hold the Option key and do it from the corner, it moves from the center out and it moves uniformly from the center out. So it gives me the same amount of space all the way around. I hit Return because I, it's now settled in place. And I go to Stroke. And I'm going to 10 pixels, I think, is a good color. I could make this color uh, any color I want. I'm going to settle for gray. Actually, I think I'll go, go for black. Go for a black color. Click OK. Click OK on the stroke. And now I have that black border all uniformly around my picture. Um, now I want to add text. So I'll go to the text tool. Pick a font that I kind of like. Let's, doesn't, now let's, oh boy, let's just start with Monaco. Let's try it and see. And I'll pick a size. I'll start typing maybe Michael Smith Gallery. All right. Well, this looks a little big, doesn't it? So I'm going to click on the, double click on the thumbnail for the text layer. That selects the text. Up in my text option box, I could reduce the size of the font. Oh, let's look for another font. If I click right in the font family box, and then I can use my arrow keys, up and down arrows, to move through. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I like that. Um, and then at this box here in the options bar, it uh, lets me make some changes. For instance, I could change um, text, how the space in between lines. I can change the um, size of the font. I can change the text, the spacing between the, the letters. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to spread that, bring that in just a little, maybe out a little like that. All right, and then have that in place. Got that. I'm going to click on the Move tool, and I'm going to select all my layers. The text layer, the layer with the stroke, the picture layer, and the background picture. And now with the Move tool selected, I have alignment um, capabilities. I could align it to the left, to the centers, or to the right. I'll choose the centers. Watch the bottom. The text as it now centers itself. And there you have a gallery print.